Oh, Joe, look at the question. I've noticed, uh, Chicho, I've noticed that when we are finding areas in geometry, the area of a rectangle is fundamental to finding the area of other shapes. Yes. Triangles are half a square. Yes. When we find the areas of other shapes, such as hexagon and uh, heptagon, we split the shapes into triangles and find the area by adding the areas of all the triangles the same with circles uh, circles is a little different you got to do the limit with circles uh, when you want to when you want the area under a curve uh, you can use an infinite number of rectangles rectangles yes under the curve when we derive the area of shapes squares rectangles always show up yes so what about the area of a of a rectangle what about the area of a rectangle how do we drive the formula for the area of a rectangle being area equals side times side we never see the formula for the area of a rectangle being derived or discussed it's uh, just stated and taken to be true is it just taken to be self um, evident ax axiom axonomic or is there a way to derive the formula you draw the formula from area of a triangle right area rectangle is twice the area of a triangle right that's where you get it John Bo uh, Bonham fans yeah John Bonham Led Zeppelin died a little too early right John Bonham was amazing by the way so here's a uh, Joe well, uh, sleepy ways by the way I haven't forgotten the music thing but here's here is a triangle, right? Now, triangle doesn't have to be uh, isosceles triangle. If you have a triangle with two sides the same, right? If this is the same as this, you just mirror this along here. You get the same thing. It's a right angle triangle, and that's a square, so it's x times x, right? But a triangle doesn't have to be an isosceles triangle. Here's a triangle. And the area area of a triangle is one half base times height right so for a square the base and the height are just x right so this would be 1 over 2 x times x so is equal to x over 2 and if you have two of them to get the square you double this so 2 so area of a square is equal to 2 times the area oops area of a triangle which is equal to 2 times x squared over 2 which is equal to x squared right that's the area of a square well area of a rectangle here's x or let's call it base times that or x and y let's call it x and y right well area of this triangle is the same area same as this one half base times height which is equal to one half x times y which is equal to x y over two well mirror this flip it you get this right is that proportional <laughs> this looks bigger <laughs> let me do it this is my drawing looks more legit Right. So if you do this, then that plus that is two times that. So the area of this rectangle, so this is the area of this triangle, and the area of the whole rectangle is area of the rectangle is equal to area of the triangle times two. Well, area of the triangle is x over y, x times y over two times two, two kills two, which is just x times y. So area of a rectangle is base times height. Is that, I mean, that's assuming we know what the area of a triangle is. How do we come up with the area of a triangle? I don't know, I haven't looked into the proof of it yet. I probably had in the past, but I can't remember how we go about it. 